Hello friends, welcome to HTML video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we discussed introduction to HTML, what does HTML stands for, features and limitations of HTML, how to create a web page using notepad, basic structure of any HTML5 document, how to change the title of the web page, how to add line break in HTML. In this video, I would like to discuss HTML B tag, strong tag, HTML I tag, EM tag, HTML U tag and INS tag. So let's get started. Here I want to display hello world six times one below another. So what I do guys in the body section I say hello world br. I copy this and paste five times one, two, three, four, five. What browser does guys? Browser displays hello world br means move the cursor to the next line then displays hello world br means move the cursor to the next line display hello world move the cursor to the next line display hello world move the cursor to the next line display hello world move the cursor to the next line display hello world move the cursor to the next line so we get hello world displayed six times one below another guys. I save it, go to browser and reload. You see we got hello world displayed six times one below another. Now I'm going to add one br here so that I get one empty black line. I save this, go to browser and reload. See we got one blank line here. After this hello world, I want to get one blank line. So here I'm going to add br. I save it, go to browser and reload. See, I got one more blank line here. Now, I want to display this hello world in bold. I want to make this text bold. So, before the hello world, I use B tag, opening B. After the hello world, I use closing B tag. So, anything we put inside the B tag, it is displayed in bold, guys. I save it, go to browser and reload. You see, this hello world is displayed in bold. Instead of B tag, we can also use strong tag. I want to display this hello world in bold. Instead of B tag, I am going to use strong tag. Opening strong. After the hello world, I say closing strong tag. I save this, go to browser and reload. You see this hello world is displayed in bold guys. So in HTML5, instead of B tag, we use strong tag to make the text bold guys. Next, I want to display this text in italic. So before this hello world, I use opening i tag. After the hello world, I use closing i tag. Anything we put inside i tag, it is displayed in italic. I save this, go to browser and reload. You see this hello world is displayed in italic. Instead of i tag, we can also use em tag. Em stands for emphasize text guys. Before this hello world, I am going to use opening em tag. After the hello world, I am going to use Closing em tag. Anything we put inside em tag is displayed in italic guys. I save it, go to browser and reload. You see this hello world is displayed in italic. In html5, instead of using i tag, we use em tag to display the text in italic guys. Next, I want to display this text with underline. So simply, I am going to use opening u tag and closing u tag. Anything we put inside u tag, it is displayed with underline. I save it, go to browser and reload. You see, underline is displayed. I want to display underline below this hello world also. Instead of u tag, I can also use ins tag. Opening ins, closing ins. Anything we put inside ins, it is displayed with underline. I save it, go to browser and reload. You see, this hello world is also displayed with underline. So, b tag and strong tag used to make the text bold i tag and em tag used to make text italic u tag and ins tag used to underline the text guys ins stands for inserted text inserted text guys i suggest you people to try this yourself for this video tutorial this much is enough guys in the upcoming video tutorials we discuss more about html if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep designing, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.